Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for some updates. Let's do this. We are back at Universal Studios Hollywood on this beautiful Friday. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. And on today's trip, we're doing something different where I show up later in the day instead of showing up in the morning. I have the Platinum Pass, which gives me express at three o'clock. And pretty much at that point in time, the whole theme park's just unlocked. I could do everything with front of the line. Cause I've been coming in the mornings and with the spring breaks and the popularity of Super Nintendo World in general has brought the crowns like you wouldn't believe. So it's kind of hard to do stuff in the morning. And uh, just on a recent vlog that I did here at Universal, I was like, I wonder how the experience will be if I show up later in the day that kind of just goes into express on everything. I could imagine my day's gonna go a lot better <laughs> than if I had to wait the lines that are probably uh, here right now. And I, they're probably one hour waits everywhere. The Super Mario's movie has now debuted. It was five fires. I loved it. I highly recommend you check it out. I'm wondering if any new merch or anything like that has arrived. And one of the first things I wanna check out, what hats are available from what I'm hearing? Only Yoshi hats are what's left over. Everything else sold out. I don't recall seeing the Piranha Plant uh, lamp. This is the first time I've seen this and 40 bucks. So it's 117. I looked to see if there was any virtual queue for Super Nintendo World. They're gone. Secret Life of Pets, they're gone. <laughs> uh, but like I was saying, I have Express at three. So that kind of negates those. But if you're trying to do Super Nintendo World, do not forget you need a reservation most of the time to get into the land. Uh, and then to do a toadstool, you have to be inside the land and get that QR code and get on the waiting list. It's pretty crazy. You pretty much have to be here at either 8 a.m. or if they open at 9, uh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> and I heard a lot of people today, they waited three hours for uh, Mario Kart. So spring break crowds are just hitting hard right now. Imagine summer, what's summer gonna look like? Not seeing anything new, at least at the studio store just that piranha plant but just wanted to give an overview man i really just looking at all of this merch just makes me want to go see mario bros movie again it was so good <laughs> 120 and this is what it looks like on a friday lower lot pretty much insane <laughs> 180 minutes so three hour away from mario kart that was true and then the upper lot looks to be everything kind of is in the 20 to 40 minute only one real standout is uh 65 minute simpsons so <laughs> that's what it's looking like oh my land this like new york section of the entrance of universal i heard there's some rumor that change could be coming here and what i've heard the rumor this is just speculation it could be restaurant new restaurant additions could come here anybody hear anything like that that's just what i've heard it'd be cool we got a restaurant right here but just think about how much it would affect horror nights there's already no room here <laughs> where does the scaramony go made it to the Parisian courtyard and wow talk about progress happening here still have no idea what this house could be for halloween horror nights but this is incredible it's still kind of hard to make out whatever this could be but the fact that the facade is this big i'm excited for all the details and scares and craziness that's going to go on in the inside this is looking good what do you guys think wow in freaking april and here's a better look at somewhere inside the middle of the maze very high walls can't really make out much of what's going on in there but high walls big facade that's what i'm talking about we're inside super silly Funland, but it's all behind barricades even the games uh maybe they're doing some type of refurbishment right now if anybody has any info post in the comments i think this might be my first time at least that i can remember in a long time that i've tried to cheer over here at universal studios hollywood I'm like three or four bites in. I'm gonna give it three fires right in the middle. If you're craving a churro, this is definitely gonna hit the spot. I recommend it. Mm -hmm. 
One meet and greet to not miss out on is Homer and Bart. Definitely check them out over here in front of the Quickie Bar. Don't. <laughs> we got about an hour before three o'clock hits and we could do express for everything. So we're gonna have fun over here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You see my flowers there? I'd love for you to give them a bit of water for me. All right. So, point your wand and say, Aquamint. Aquamint. Very good. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh darling, you killed them. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. We can fix it. We can fix it. We Last time I was here, you could hear roller coaster noise, people screaming as if they were on a roller coaster, all coming from special effects building. And it almost felt like it was happening at the escalators as well. Today I've been here for about five to 10 minutes now and I've heard zero, zero noises. <laughs> so whatever testing they were doing, uh, I guess they're done for at least now. But it's very exciting for the prospect that a roller coaster could be coming in this vicinity, upper lot. It's 2.30, so we got 30 more minutes before our express kicks in. But if you could look, the lower lot is crazy. <laughs> and then Super Nintendo World, Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge was three hours. Well, it looks like it. And I think you could even tell from this angle uh, on the right side, that's single rider. So that's probably crazy too right now. And for a Halloween Horror Night construction update, still nothing behind Mummy. But the new tent that has arrived is over there behind Transformers. And check this out. That's where uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space was. You can actually see the foundation being uh, laid out. And the walkthrough is pretty much coming to life. The wood's on the ground. What is this tent going to be? <laughs> uh, we're going to go on the studio tour. I don't know if we'll get a better view at all that. A part of a larger filmmaking family, and together it's a collaborative filmmaking effort. Whether it's working with HBO Max on their TV series Hacks, or other companies like Disney, Netflix, Paramount, Sony, Warner Brothers, Hulu Plus, Amazon Prime, and Tubi, whatever it takes to bring you the media that you <laughs> There's actually facade work already happening on the second tent right here. Wow. And I think I see wood or something out there. Holy smokes. I don't know if we'll get a good shot at this, but. Wow. Yeah, they've already started working on like the first couple of rooms for that maze. Damn. Oh my gosh. That's the mummy lines. <laughs> Dude, that, that's like, that might be like two hours. I see though, you do wish to swear to me. My apologies, I'll gladly have you in our Decepticons. Can you do me a favor? Repeat after me. All hail Megatron! <laughs> you did it! Applaud this human! Applaud! Weaklings! 
This human may have just saved your lives. Well then good. Stand before me, my latest acolyte. Let us destroy together. Even when there's no reservations, you can still use your platinum at three o'clock. Thankfully, we're platinum members, Junior. <laughs> Man. All right. Like, it's crazy, but not too bad. I like that pattern. Yeah. A lot more controlled. Currently 420. Hundred eighty minutes still. Damn, this land is just so popular. Hopefully, uh, at some point in time, we could get an expansion or another restaurant. We need the Yoshi restaurant. Yeah, we do. Take yeah, out take out a uh, panda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, put the Yoshi, <laughs> yeah, put the Yoshi restaurant. All right, let's get some toast stool. Let's go. Let's go. So far for Toadstool Cafe, we waited maybe 20 minutes before ordering. Our Toadstool experience, I have to say, went pretty smooth. Uh, we've been sat down now pretty much 25 minutes in total. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take to get the food. We'll see how that goes. But I wanted to talk about Halloween Horror Nights and the speculations that have been kind of going around. Uh, we're really hearing the hard that Megan might be coming this year. And also Evil Dead Rise, which could possibly go over there at uh, Walking Dead. And then we already know Chucky's coming. And we keep hearing Universal Monsters uh, and Phantom of the Opera. Like some type of connection with Phantom of the Opera. So we'll see how all that goes. Uh, I don't know what else could come this year. Maybe Five Nights at Freddy. Could that be a possibility? You never know. Uh, Insidious is probably another strong speculation that could happen for Halloween Horror Nights this year and uh, maybe The Last of Us. Could The Last of Us come? If The Last of Us comes, why can't we just get a conjuring house? I'm just saying. Can we get a conjuring house? <laughs> or It. It from uh, It Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, like the newer version. I don't know, man. Horror Nights has endless possibilities, but those are a lot of speculations I'm hearing. Are you guys hearing anything else that I haven't talked about? Post in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear your speculations for 2023 uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Last time I was here, I had the Bowser Fireball Challenge, and it wrecked me. And for like a week or two now, I've been thinking about this burger. I should have just got a burger. Uh, this thing is absolutely five fires. I like that you get to take this home. I've been collecting these. Uh, but this does have mushrooms, so be aware. But the bacon, the burger, everything just works really well. Highly recommend the Mario Burger, everybody. We're just finishing up with Toast Hill Cafe. That burger was absolutely delicious. I give it five fires. For the whole experience, get our food and all that, I'll say it was about 40 minutes. Uh, that was a lot better than the other time, which was about an hour or a little bit more than an hour. So things are improving a little bit. Uh, now that we're done eating, the ride went down to 130 minutes. We're in one up factory and it's just chaos in here. <laughs> I did find the Bowser hat again. And then I'm getting the Mystery Bay, this one. Also, another thing that I was told today that only at One Up Factory is where they're having like the Goomba hat and the Bowser. Everywhere else, all the other stores outside of the land only had Yoshi. So I don't know if that's like a today thing or that's just how things are going to roll. But if you're trying to look for all the hats, like the big hats, go to One Up Factory. That's the place to get them.
For dark arts, they have three times today, 9, 920, 940. So you got to be here pretty late for that to happen. I thought that was at 8 o'clock, but now it's 9 o'clock. And for the wait times, it's currently 544. Pretty much the lower lot is still pretty heavily impacted, but the upper lot, not so bad. Only Simpsons, really. To end today's video, we're going to use our express for Simpsons. We haven't been on this ride in a long time. Uh, it's been forever, I feel like. Like three months, maybe. Maybe more. Yeah, I'm not time for me since I got on the ride, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Woo, a roller coaster. I'm scared, Dad. Sweetie, they won't kill you in an amusement park as long as you have a dime left in your pocket. There's nothing you can do. You're about to die. You sound like my duck. Junior for catching this. One of the reasons I'm trying to stay here a little bit later is for Dark Arts, but at the same time, I wanted to know if Super Nintendo World just opened up at the end of the day. Well, look at that. At 6.30, area uh, area timed entry ticket not needed. So you could just walk right into the land. You're not gonna eat a toadstool, but hey, you don't need a reservation anymore as a 6.26. There's a new popcorn bucket that has now arrived and it's how to train a dragon. $43. You do get popcorn for the rest of the day. Look how cute. The pop popcorn buckets are getting expensive. And then this one arrived not that long ago. That one's $29. This one's making it look cheap. <laughs> Talk about the chiropractor of theme parks, freaking Simpsons ride. I feel like it's a lot more rougher than the Matterhorn. My gosh. I don't know if it's I'm getting older or what, but that is a bumpy ride. <laughs> a lot of fun though. Uh, but stay tuned, everybody, for all the Halloween Horror Night updates and the Super Nintendo World changes and everything going on out here. If you are interested in Universal Studios Hollywood, please subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. And thank you for supporting the fire. We are farting it down, farting it down. The Cali Bay is calling it today. I'm the main host, Mondo.